What's up, people? Welcome to the live stream. We're right on time, right on time. No delay whatsoever. Hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> Yo, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. All right. Okay. Listen, I know, I know the questions are there. What happened? Why am I late? Okay. Kevin asking, was I napping? Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the truth. I was, I was, I woke up like, uh, about five minutes ago. I was like, huh? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Bro, this is only supposed to be a quick rest of the eyes. So, yo, Toto Berry with the six months. Shout out to Toto Berry. Shout out to Toto Berry. Subscribed for six months. The longest subscriber, I believe. I believe. Shout out to the Toto Berry. But yeah, no, no, that's the answer. That's the answer. I was freaking, I was asleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry it wasn't, um... Uh, a fun, you know, epic story of overcoming obstacles in order to become live for you today. But hey, it is what it is. Squidgy saying, in my heart, I subbed for seven months. Yo, Squidgy, that is awesome. Um, but if it ain't got the freaking notification, I don't know what we can do about that. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but shout out to you. Why didn't you put an alarm on your phone? <laughs> I didn't expect to, um, I didn't expect to not, I, see, I was, I didn't like nap on purpose, you know what I mean? I wasn't like, oh, let me go to bed. I kind of just woke up and I was like, wait, what? I fell asleep? What happened? So if it was like me being like, oh, I'm going to nap, then I would have set an alarm, but I didn't think I was going to nap, you know what I mean? That's like, that's the answer. <laughs> Why is he so late? Like I thought I would be <laughs> Watch a Ratchet and Kang trailer Okay people, we have a big agenda today Give me a second, I'm gonna sneeze Am I? What's going on here? Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine How long did I sleep last night? I think I got like 7 hours in I think I did Look at this thing, sneeze That could have worked But it's too late now, it's too late but yeah, we have a lot to talk about. Um, so we have the Oscars. You know, I was informed by Kevin rather early in the day. He told me, he said, don't look at the Oscar, like, I don't know, whatever, like the videos or whatever. Like he said, I shouldn't look at them so as to not be spoiled. So I'm going to find out who won the Oscars today. So that should be interesting. Um... I'm going to watch the speeches that came out. I'm going to look at the subreddit. Of course, it's Reddit money. I'm going to see what posts people have been posting over the last week. And we'll see what you guys have been putting on there. That should be cool. Um, What else? There's a new trailer for Ratchet and Clank. There's a gameplay trailer that's coming out or that's come out. We're going to check that out. There's um, what else? Trailer for Apex Legends. New gameplay trailer. Is that all? I believe there's one other thing. Oh no, that's all that I have on my list at least. So quite a few things to check out. Quite a few things to check out. <sighs> Kevin saying early in the day, I watched them live. Yep, yeah, you're watching Oscars live, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, what? <laughs> Adrian, did you misclick and time out some of the 10 minutes, bruh? <laughs> um, we know who won an Oscar though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I know that um I know that Daniel Kalia won for best supporting actor, I believe. But I haven't seen the speeches or anything like that. So we'll see what it's like. Which is for singing, which is for acting. Grammys are for music, Oscars are for acting. And Emmys. Um I don't think, yeah, I think Emmys are just for acting, right? Or just for like um, screen entertainment, not music. When's the Neopets Experience spin off Dark Hands versus Bright Looks coming out? Dark Hands. Interesting one. Interesting one. <laughs> welcome, Basil. Well, welcome to the stream, everybody. The Oscars were, let's say, a huge talking point. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Is it still hay fever season? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, it's hay fever season until 
August, pretty much. Like, you know, I wish it wasn't hay fever season, but it'd be like that. I'd be sniffing. Exactly, exactly. Let me blow my nose again. What is this? Some huge essay about seashells. That's supposed to be a tongue twister. My grammar is cringe. <laughs> What's cringe about your grammar? You tell me. Emmys, ain't that the currency in cyberpunk? I don't know anything about cyberpunk, but is that the currency? Is that what they spend? I thought it would just be dollars, to be fair. Gonna be adding sound effects to an animation. That is the most oddly specific thing I've ever said to so CJJ. CJJ, you an animator? I, I know I know what it's like to be adding sound effects to animation. I was doing that with my um um sort of anniversary video, overreaction, the remake. I was doing that. It can be cool, you know, it's like it adds life to the animation, you know what I mean? I kinda like that. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I guess uh <laughs> some got hate people shaking my head. I'm shaking my head too, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Also, it's cause I just like woke up. For some reason, my sniffle, my sniffles, or whatever the hell, is always worse when I've just woken up too. So this really, this really wasn't the best combination. Um, but thank you, people, for being patient with me anyway. Um, I really liked Simba's new video. Yo, shout out to Dude Perfect. Yes, that is something worth mentioning before we get into the Reddit Monday here. We did upload. Oh, Simba uploaded a video to his channel. It's called, uh, wait, wait, let me, let me bring this up and show you guys. So he interviewed me and, uh, it was pretty cool. Like we made breakfast together. And so let me, let me show you guys what the video is. It's called Tamago 2474. It helps me cook his breakfast. You can find this video on his channel. Um, let me make sure I'm getting this shown. Just give me a quick second. Okay. Let's 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 see how well I've configured this right now. There we go. All right, yeah. Time go twenty four seven four helps me cook his breakfast over on Simba's channel. Um, it's a cool time. We're just interviewing while Simba, um, you know, makes my breakfast bagels. So, yeah, you can check this video out. It's pretty cool. What's the top comment? It's me. You know, I'm something of a chef myself. <laughs> so yeah, go check this out. Pretty cool video. And um very glad you enjoyed it, dude. Perfect. A lot of people liked it. 129 likes. Hell yeah, people. So yeah, go check out Simba's channel. It was very nice to do the interview with him. Very cool, dude. Well, I mean he's my like a good friend of mine, so <laughs> thought I was a top comment. Oh, is your one? Oh my god, how did you get the guy from Black Panther on here? Such a big time YouTuber. Yeah. So sorry. Sorry, Quincy, but you know. I just be out here getting that top comment. You know how it is, bro. Sorry, it just be like that. Just be like that. We can't win them all, man. We can't win them all. Check out the Oculus event. Pretty much just game trailers. They are actually kind of sick. Not gonna lie. The Oculus event. Okay. I might. I might give that a look. Um, I'm not sure if it'd be on stream, but I might give it a look. Um, 50. These are huge ass text blocks. I, I can't read all this. I'm not gonna lie. What is, what is this even about, bro? <laughs> um, Soup King. What's good? I'm good. Abdul saying, can we get more vids? I'm always working on the next video. Always. Always working on the next video. So, never, never worry about that. Something is always in the works. What are we checking out today? Oscars, Reddit. We're checking out all of it. But next, we're going to be checking out the subreddit. I want to see what you guys have cooked up for me this week. Poopy Disco, absolutely not. We will not be spelling that out loud. Hope you guys had a good weekend as well. Um, yeah, I had a pretty nice weekend. It was pretty chill. All right, cool, cool. I think we've got this all ready to go. When Tamago 2474 uploads a two hour documentary, then uploads two weeks after. Man, do you sleep or are you on that weird ketamine stuff? Well, I haven't uploaded two weeks later. Still have not uploaded, but <laughs> I'm just work I'm working on I'm always working on the next video. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. 
your mods are mean to me. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. I think it was the uh, it was all the talk about Playboy Cardi. You know, we don't mind Playboy Cardi. We're just not super fans like you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Are we starting with Reddit Monday? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be checking it out right now. You guys already know the drill. So here's how it is. We're gonna get a free reward from Reddit that I'm gonna give out to someone on stream. I want your predictions. What are we gonna get? This is gonna be the wholesome award. It's gonna be the silver hug. Oh, hugs. No, hugs is different from wholesome. Could it be hugs? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Handshake, hugs. The Hogs Award is the Bear Award, by the way. Reddit Dumb Day. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Wholesome Seal, Hogs, Silver. All right. Let's see what we get. Let's see what it is. It's the Silver Award. We're getting that Silver. So someone's going to be picking this up today, depending on who had the best meme of the last week. So you'll be enjoying that real soon. Abdul saying, can you find something else to react to? I would love a series just like the tester, especially because you always show us things I've never heard of or seen, which is pretty cool. Abdul, I'm very glad you enjoyed the series. We'll see. We'll see. That's all I can say. We'll see what's coming next. But I'm very glad you enjoyed the series. Thank you. Um, It's always silver. I am seeing it wasn't silver last week. You bet silver. It wasn't silver. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Bro, I thought my comic was going to get the award last week. It didn't quite, though, did it? Because sorry. <laughs> but we'll see you this week. I, apparently, you have another comic for us. So we'll see. Okay. Let's go with this. So this. Okay. So for some reason, no title. Just the um ex or the full stop. You know, the full stop title. Not sure about that. The tester fans, game show fans fighting. And then oddball fans like, what the hell? What's going on? Okay, I like the sentiment of the meme, but I don't know if it's quite, you know, game show hasn't been done since 2018. It's been so long. This is definitely the losing side. If this was Neopets fans, then maybe that would be more, you know, of a clash, I suppose. But yeah, I don't know. But you know, nice meme, whatever. Nice meme. I'm low effort king. How has one reached the top? <laughs> this is the top meme of the week, supposedly. Half pipe pair. This is literally just someone posting the hair. Come on. Too easy. Too easy. Can't be getting up votes for that. But yes, this was, what was this? The 22nd, so four days ago. Was that Thursday then? I believe that's Thursday, right? See, when I don't do the Reddit, it fails. <laughs> Well, these are the only two posts so far. Only two that we've seen. So we'll keep going. Keep going. Posting every day until I get bored day free. This is true. Only way Simi will vote for Nico or Milana. Tama, go to the polls. No, no, no. But I I like it. I'm giving that an up vote, INC. I'm giving that one an up vote. Um, Nico Milana is actually doing well in um in the polls so far in terms of predictions as to how well people are gonna do um when it comes to the election for mayor of london that's gonna be on the 6th of may i believe so yeah he's actually doing a lot better than a lot of people thought he had five percent yeah he's in the top five for the running so we'll see how it turns out we'll see how it turns out nico is about to win well well, I mean, he's not going to win, but <laughs> it's still interesting. <laughs> you know, like it's like just from a realistic perspective, he's not going to win just because a lot of the voting public are older and they don't know him. But, you know, uh, he's getting a lot of younger people to vote, which is very interesting. Um, you've got to believe Hey, maybe something major is going to happen. Maybe like something absolutely unexpected is going to happen and he's suddenly going to get a huge push. It's just unlikely. But, you know, it's cool anyway. If he does win, I'll laugh because politics are fake. Money is fake. Everything is fake. 
I haven't seen you in ages. You got me through quarantine. Respect, man. Yo, Laser Wolf, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Uh, glad I was able to help you out. And thanks for tuning into the stream. I appreciate that. PC play on learn should come back in it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that could come back in some form, I suppose. I suppose. He's building up for the next election. Yeah, you think so? That could be cool. I wonder what his, like, what his policies, though. Aside from telling Boris to shush, which honestly is a strong enough platform on its own, but, you know. <laughs> iPad, play and learn. I like that, Adri. Um, okay, this is more half pipe hair. Okay, so is Voxelise just posting the half pipe hair? That's absolutely fine. But, you know, you're not going to get an award for that. You know, it's just a repost. You know what I'm saying? Just a repost. Posting every day until I get bored day four. Simi when he loses on round 60 of the impossible challenge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that's how I felt. It was heartbreaking. Wait, what happened to my upvote? Oh, it's not letting me upvote it. What's going on? <laughs> okay, let me do this again. There we go. Reddit was like, nah, bro, you ain't upvoting this. It's too low effort. I don't understand the free game section of your Discord. Games that are free will get posted there so that you can um, buy them for free. Like, uh, you know, whenever like a game goes on discount because the studio is just like, oh, it's our birthday. We'll, we'll give this game out for free. If you set notifications for that chat, you'll be able to know when those games come out. Ah, uh, yes, buying for free. Well, it's still, you still get a receipt, innit? <laughs> Posting every day until I get bored day five. No caption, I can't think of one. IMC, you just... You're just spamming at this point. What's going on? All jokes aside, congrats this man all the way from skins to this. He was on skins, wasn't he? Oh, crap. I actually forgot this guy was on skins. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Respect to Daniel Kiyula, Um Or Kaluya. I will say this was about to be irrelevant, but because we understand the joke... We'll keep it here. Because we understand the joke. And no, I'm not getting freaking Rick rolled, dude. Perfect. It's not going to happen. Okay. Oh, boy. This is another Kuzari classic comic. So let's see what we've got. Let's see um, what debaucherous stuff we're about to get into here. Now, you might be wondering why there are only two of y'all in this here facility. Wait, I feel like I have to properly... Let me... Let me pause the music. I feel like I have to properly get into character. But I don't know what this character necessarily is. <clears throat> okay. Now, you might be wondering why there are only two of y'all in this here facility. Well, it's uh because we kind of spend all our money on this here girl. Easier to draw. Uh, What? This girl is easier to draw? Okay, but it uh got covered by other posters in 10 minutes. Like Reddit posters? Is that what you mean? Become a Tama mod today. <laughs> oh, is this supposed to be like a bulletin board? But hey, at least there was a poster. Are you lonely? Terms apply though. Okay. So only you and you came. Okay, so this is me. All right. What I've gleaned so far is that this is some sort of meeting. Um. I okay. I'm, I'm not too sure what's going on, but I, this is me. This is me right here. With the sunglasses. Okay. Next page. Bruh. So I have to fight this guy. Wait. Why am I fighting now? For her? Wait. What? Eventually, yes. Okay. I like this face, though. I do like this. But anyways, here are the rules. What? The freaking page number counter is blocking the thing. Let me just open it like this. You two must complete three romance-themed challenges. Just don't tell the bachelorette about us, please. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're competing for her love or whatever. But here is the first challenge. I'm not going to lie. I like the, the artistic style of the comic. I do like that, Kuzari. Final page. <laughs> okay, so this is the guy. So it's like <laughs> he's planning something. Yep. 
Your challenge is to steal a girl's heart through compliments. How can virgin me do that? Okay, what does being a virgin have to do with your ability to compliment someone? I'm sorry, come on now. Come on now. <laughs> my V card is still in my pocket. All right, that's me and that's my opponent. And the 10 minutes to think of your compliments begin. Thanks for reading. For future reference, what pickup line slash compliments would you use to swoon a lady? P.S. Pretty girl's name is Ren. Kuzari GT. Okay, so this character is supposed to be you, Kuzari. All right, so is this an ongoing story? So I'm kind of invested. I'm kind of invested. Like, what is going on here? We're in this place where we're competing. I need to read the title. Okay, the tournament arc chapter one. Meet up and rules. P.S. Read prologue before this. Read prologue before this. Is the prologue that comic we checked out before? Because I don't see what relation that has to this one, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it has potential, Kizari. It has potential. That was a separate post. I guess if we see it, I guess if we see it. Cool guy, not fool guy. Shout out to you for the, what is that, one, 200 bits? Oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Saying nice stream. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoy it. Before this that I posted this week. So there was another one you posted. All right, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, I I feel like it has potential. I did like the drawings, honestly. And I'm interested in these characters that you've created too. So it has potential. Did I ever have the thing called Go-Go's? Go-Go's? Doesn't ring a bell to me. When Kizari does a crossover with Marvel. <laughs> Yeah. Posting every day. Okay, another IMC post. I forgot to post yesterday. I'm going to post today. This is lowest effort of posts I'm able to achieve. So what? It's just our Apex Legends win? Is that what this is? Go. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. wow. Okay. See, we can do it. We can. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, wanna... right. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Yeah, that was a lot more cool. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see the damage Sweet. difference. Bro, um, <laughs> thank, yeah, yeah, listen. Alright, listen, yeah, I may have gotten like 78 damage, but I got two kills. That's called efficiency, okay? Two kills with minimal damage. It means I got the job done with the least effort possible. Okay? That's what it is. But yeah, IMC, that's probably the lowest effort post so far. Nobody, literally, no one, Night Pro. Oh, because talking all posh, right? Yeah. Hold Wait, on. that's Simba. Sir Night Pro the Fourth. What happened, Night Pro? What did I miss in the last? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> Sir Night Pro the Fourth. Wow. Night Pro got a freaking upgrade. Godzilla had a stroke trying to read Sir Night Pro's writing and freaking died. Bro. <laughs> I kinda like that actually. I kinda like that. That was cool. I like I like that it incorporated Simba's stream as well. That was nice. That was nice. I don't know. I thought being a virgin correlated with not having goal skills. Oh, Kazari, is that your explanation? <laughs> well, I mean, not necessarily. <laughs> Alright, me talking crap about Simi plus Simi calling me out equals RJ versus Simi. Alright, so you're you're Muhammad Ali in this fight. Who am I, bro? Who am I in this fight? <laughs> Come on now. Let's be sensible about it. Every team needs a foundation, and you were the foundation that game. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Nutty. I appreciate that. Talking about that Apex Legends game. I was the foundation. I was the glue that kept us together. And that's why we won. Absolutely. Absolutely. Possibly a new Twitch slash Discord emote time ago, bruh. Interesting idea. I personally don't think it would work too well, though. Um, open image in new tab. Yeah, it kind of, it doesn't work too well when it's small. That's how you have to kind of test an emote. It doesn't really look like anything when it's small, you know what I mean? But hey, 
Decent idea. This is the face Simi will make in his coffin. Jesus, Kevin. Jesus, bro. I mean, that's very literal. <laughs> I mean, probably. I, I likely wouldn't be wearing my glasses, but you know, probably. <laughs> Wait, let me block this user who has um, posted. Oh, someone already did it. Nice one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No bots in the chat. Thank you. Honestly, Simi, every facial expression you make could be a meme. That's fair. That's fair. Every facial expression, every single one, though. I feel like some are pretty neutral. The glasses go into the afterlife. <laughs> Once had... Wait, wait. Once one had won the bet. This is Night Pro's freaking uh, posh English or whatever. Okay. Once one had won the bet and had taken the big payday as well as the rest on one's whole Tamacoin finance after Sir Egg the 20... 2474. Shout out to... Uh, what, what's that say? Bantamonium with 100 bits. I love that name. Bantamonium. I love that name. Would I take a YouTube video suggestion? I'm always open to suggestions. Always open to suggestions. Whether they get made is another story, but I'm always open to suggestions. <laughs> Okay, so where were we here? And thank you for the 100 bits as well. I appreciate that. Let me just start again. Once one had won the bet and had taken the big payday, as well as the rest on one's whole Tamacoin finance, after Sir Egg, the 2474th had been taken down in the 60th round. This is the most difficult, unnecessarily difficult sentence I have ever read. <laughs> so you're basically just saying, when you won big because I lost the impossible challenge on the 60th round. So this is you, happy, and then everyone else is upset. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Once yours truly looked at the comments. Okay, another night. Bro, night pro, please stop. Looked at the comments to discover all were against me on my betting favor and were hoping I would end up bankrupt. My 105.6k time of coins owned. Nice. You are truly very rich, Nibro, in Tama Coins. Pro you are you the richest in Tama Coins? I feel like you are, right? Most likely. Nipro and IMC need a one week timeout from the Reddit. That might be fair. That might be fair. Shout out to Bantamonium with the 100 bits saying, have a great stream. I appreciate that. Thank you. Wait, did you post a suggestion? I was waiting. I thought you were going to put a suggestion, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Night Pro gambling 74k time of coins and going bankrupt. <laughs> but it worked out for Night Pro in the end, didn't it? I got a million time of coin, just too humble to show it. Squidgy, I get that. I get that for sure. I'm broke, only on 12.3k. 12.3k, that's not broke. That's a, that's a decent amount. Can't lie. Play Roblox for your next game show? Interesting suggestion. We'll see about that, T-Core. We'll see about that. <laughs> 107.5k currently standing. Damn, Night Pro. Truly the uh, upper class. Eat the rich. Let's go. <laughs> Crappy drawings of what I think the M Mall online staff look like. You know what? Mind factoid. I appreciate the creativity. So who's this? This is um. Oh, Irfan. See, in my video, I called him Ifran. And then I that always annoyed me because when I was editing, I was like, oh, it isn't Ifran, it's Irfan or Irfan. I can't remember. I don't I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's like I-R-F-A-N. But I'd already recorded it, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is supposed to be Irfan. This is Angelina. And who's this? David. Oh yeah, David, that doesn't even exist. But nice, nice. Thank you, Mind Factoid. Why is one being attacked by Mr. Freak in the comment section of one stream? <laughs> Oh, wait, we've got some anime stuff. Okay, what's this? New episode of the Neopets Experience, but it says Night Pro and Kevin already. We'll see what this is. All right, that's me. Oh, that's bright. Oh, wow. That happened so quickly. That happened so quickly. Why was why were Kevin and Night Pro even there? What did that have to do with anything? <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Bright legs is absolutely fine. We won't accept this uh propaganda. We won't accept this propaganda whatsoever. Trey, I see you in the chat. What's up? Posting every day until I get bored. Day eight, got bored in class and drew this. IMC, what? Are you serious? First off, first off, where in class are you? This looks like you're on your freaking 
This looks like a bed sheet. Or maybe you brought this home. You're in class doodling time ago, bro. <laughs> you got the Glock, the sword. Walk on blood. All right. Is that? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. All right, then. Cool. I'm in class bed sheet. <laughs> that ain't your class. It could be. A, he could have brought the book home from class, potentially. Tama go walk on blood. Oh, Tama go walk on blood. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. IMC. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we speak not smart for combat. Night bro. Good idea. Yes. I, I've, I can read less and less of the chat every day. Like it's not legible to me anymore. Time to go roll. Not bad. Not bad. This is the prologue. Okay. So this is what we need to understand what we just read of Kuzari's comic. So wait, wait, let, let's, let's make sure I, I see this fully so I can get that proper understanding here. Idly walking. Okay. So walking somewhere. Two weeks later, well, folks, here is our prize. Wait, 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 sorry. Oh, wait, we're walking and then this is a poster. So it's hard for me to track like how I'm supposed to be reading it, Kuzari, to be honest. I feel like it does need to be a little bit clearer how I'm supposed to be reading it. But I think I'm reading this next. Are you lonely? Compete for 2% chance at lady at a lady <laughs> compete for 2% chance at a lady okay <laughs> so this person takes the poster then 2 weeks later well folks here is our prize and then it's this is a lady well technically she's not a prize what i'm just reading what it says there what and then that's this person and me okay i'm not going to lie kuzari that did not make things any clearer i'm gonna have to be completely honest with you um that did not make things any clearer to be honest <laughs> but uh keep trying because i keep trying i got you bro next time <laughs> thank you thank you and uh, let's give the let's give the lady character some autonomy here because i feel like she's a prize i'm just like bro come on like let's where's her i want her to have a say in this please Please. Okay. Oh, we already had the last post of the week. Andrew from Google here got arrested for fraud advice. Please help. I do not give fraud advice. I defeat it, but the authorities do not know this. Okay. Text post. Andrew from Google on the subreddit. 76% upvoted. Okay. Yeah. That deserves to be the bottom post of the week, to be fair. Okay. You know what? Um, I've got to say, guys, it's kind of like a week. Week subreddit week today, honestly. Pretty weak. Pretty weak, I'd say. Not, not the best. Trey, what, what's this link that you're sending? My meme I posted yesterday. It was removed. Oh. You're not going to get me with this. All right, first off. So this is what... This is what Trey sent in the chat. Handy video in case you get mugged next time. Deadliest self-defense move. I already know what this is. I already know what this is. This is a Rickroll. It's 100% a Rickroll. It was removed by Mitch. <laughs> Mitch was like, nah, bro. <laughs> we ain't having this. So shout out to Mitch. But just so people know what's going on, I'm going to mute the video, but you'll see what it is. So showing a self-defense move. Look, look at the technique here. Look at the technique. You don't need to hear it. You just need to watch the action. All right. You see, you want to have the, the palm like this, clasp over your fingers or your thumb, down by your side, a little bit of a jiggy, you know what I mean? And boom, there we go, there we go. Not going to get me with that trade, but you tried, you tried. It'd be like that. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for the um, subreddit. I don't even know, I don't even want to choose a winner. No, no one was a standout, honestly. No one was a standout there, but um, let's keep going. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Who would I give it to? I'm not going to give it to this one. It did catch me off guard a little bit with, you know, Bradleg suddenly being under attack here, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it to this one. I think I'm going to have to go further up for the silver. Honestly, no, no one deserves the silver this week, but I have to give it to somebody. <laughs> 
I have to give it to somebody. So we'll see who who actually managed to um, nobody, literally no one in a night pro. You know what? I might give it to this person. Whoever made this one, Mr. Koki Crip Y. I just like the incorporation of um, Simba's stream. You know, there's some editing in there. And then you put my stream in there and it's a bit meta talking about Night Pros, sudden, you know, poshness. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. My only high effort meme didn't show up, says IMC. Okay, is this your high effort meme that you've linked? Oh, it got... Wait, who removed this? It was removed by Reddit's spam filters. Hmm. Okay. Well, check this out. It got removed by spam filters. But we'll see what's going on here. And regarding copyright, I feel like because I'm going to react to the um, Oscar stuff, the whole stream's just going to get claimed, so it's fine. <laughs> Time to go react to anime. Okay. Whoa! Did you see the flip he did? Whoa, nice! Whoa! Okay. There better be more than that. Look at the light. It falls just right. My shadows, they flee. Ah, oh, you get you freaking, you freaking. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is some bull crap, dude. Are we just? Are we still doing this? Are we still doing this? Oh my god. F this, man. <laughs> Bro, what the flip? Stop it. F you I am Z. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But come on. I okay. You got me. You got me. I was expecting actual. It's fine. Whatever. 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 We're moving on. Who's getting this silver this week? Who's getting it? Wow, it's been a week, week. Um, alright, it's gonna go to it's gonna go to Mr. Koki Crip Y. They get the Reddit silver this week. It's only the fact his song's in the background of said high effort meme. <laughs> we do be vibing. You're not going to get me with that. Rest in peace, Kaluya. Not getting the award. He's sad. Sorry. Sorry, Kaluya. Sorry, bro. All right. Award. There you go. Enjoy, Mr. K Koki Crip. K what was the same? Koki Crip Y. Shout out to you. Okay. There we go. That's the Reddit Monday. I bet, I bet it was lacking a little bit this week. Honestly, I must say. I mean, I feel like there was so much potential for memes, especially with the impossible challenge that was holding me down all week. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, innit? We'll just see about next week how you guys fare. <laughs> a meme attacking one speech gets the win. So I put a fourth. It was funny. What can I say? In conclusion, Simi got Rickrolled for the trillionth time. Yeah, yeah. Kevin saying, bro, you still in the impossible challenge. No, this is different. This is a um, space uh, battle challenge. It's not at all the same. And I'm going to beat it. Okay, I'm not stuck. I'm going to beat it. <sighs> you really seven hours in, not including the three hours in the impossible challenge. Um, I'm not sure how far I'm in, but I'm pretty close to the end. I'm pretty sure I'm quite close to the end, honestly. We've got the fully upgraded suit. We've got the fully upgraded wrench. Um, and yeah, like we're about to, you know, confront Mr. Fizz Widget. Like, I'm pretty sure we're close to the end. Just, uh, we're going to be it this week, 100%. Well, I won't say 100%, but very likely. Wait, hold the F up. I just remembered. Did you watch a movie this weekend? I watched very many movies this weekend. Maybe not very many, but I watched a few. Um, so before we check out the Oscar results... And Kevin, you've sent the links through to everything you want me to check out, right? We actually may be having special feature from Kevin. He asked to to speak on the stream. He wanted to hop on Discord. So, Kevin, you still up for that? Oh, shout out to everyone who was uh, tweeting at me saying, where am I? I I'm sorry for being late, but I'm here now. I'm here now. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you're still up for that, Kevin. All right, cool. Cool, cool. And uh, I've got I've got the links you wanted me to check out first. 
Before we check those out, though, I do want to uh, look at the gaming stuff. We're going to look at a trailer for Ratchet & Clank, and we're going to look at a trailer for Apex Legends. But yeah, I watched a few movies. So, um, yeah, I watched... Uh, okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, on Friday, no, Thursday, Kevin gave me a list of films that he would like me to check out. These are films that are already in my IMDb watch list, but that, you know, I, I really rarely get around to actually watching them. But I was like, listen, you can choose what you can choose one movie. I'll watch him. And he chose five because he was taking liberties. But it's like, fine, you can choose five. I'll watch one of them. So I watched Heat. That was the film that he that he that one of the films that he gave me as an option to watch. Uh, it stars Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. It's a I don't know. It's a crime movie. One of those action um criminals versus the justice system movies and it's it was really good heat was really good let me show people um just so you know what i'm talking about heat 1995 i'll bring up the imdb page okay here we go he was a good movie i liked it had a good time um yeah no it was good it was good. The table scene alone with De Niro and Pacino is cinema at its finest. See, I had seen that scene in a video essay. But this was, you know, my first time actually watching the movie and seeing the scene in context. And it was very good. Like, I'm not going to lie. These actors were very, very good. And seeing them in, uh, what's it? The Gentleman or Gentleman? No, no, no. It's not the freaking Gentleman. It's the one where it's like, I hear you paint houses. The Irishman. They were great in that too. Des, I appreciate that. Thank you for tuning in. Hell yeah. Welcome, welcome. Poopy saying, Ayo, hey, you've never seen Heat? Nah, loads of movies I've never seen. But this was one I had in my watch list. And um, yeah, I was just looking at the list that Kevin gave me, which um, had quite a few movies. So we had Unforgiven, Sicario, Dragged Across Concrete, Heat, and Columbus. First of all, Kevin... All of these movies you recommended were long as hell. Freaking two hours and 50 minutes, Kevin. Please. Please, bro. What's going on, bro? This is too long. But hey, the time flew by watching this. So fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, that's the movie I checked out. It was really good. I had a good time. Apex Legends or Notorious Individuals of the Highest Point. Lovely, Adri. That, that should be the alternative title. You're absolutely right. We do be vibing, man, saying, did you watch my movie suggestion? We do be vibing, man. What was your movie suggestion? Refresh my memory here. Guess I shouldn't suggest four hour movies. Absolutely not, Kevin. Absolutely freaking not. Watch Sicario next. Trust me. Maybe. It's in, it's in the list. It's in the list. We'll see what I watch next. Um, Ma oh, that's the movie you recommended. Ma constituency wait wait what oh ma continuancy i thought it was constituency uh ma continuancy are you sure that's the name of the movie i'm searching this up nothing's coming up oh you meant constituency oh film Am I about am I about to get Rick rolled here? Like what's going on? I'm searching this up, nothing's happening. But I said my balls. My constituency, but I said my balls. We do be vibing, man. That was awful. That was absolutely terrible. <laughs> After one hour, we pushing it for real. Oh hey Jack, I can I, I like movies, so I can watch a long movie. It's just that, bro, if you're gonna make a recommendation, three hours, you taking liberties, I must say. Absolute liberties. Old Nollywood movies be like part one, part two, part three, three hours long. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Are you saying each part will be three hours long? <laughs> or are you saying together they're three hours long? Slow West is 84 minutes though. You didn't recommend Slow... Oh, did you? Is that... That wasn't part of the five though. That wasn't part of the five. Yes, each part. Right. Yeah, yeah. But Nollywood movies, they, um, they keep going, innit? That's just how it is. Movies under two hours are weird. How so? A movie only needs to be as long as it needs to be to tell the story effectively. 
not enough time to tell a good story. I disagree. There are plenty of movies that can tell a good story in under two hours. Plenty of movies. Time goes PTSD with all these recalls. Right. You're right. One hour, 45 minutes is the perfect length. Okay, I can't agree with these. Like, the perfect length is however long the story needs to tell the story. You know? Or the film needs to tell the story. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry for just having constantly tissue on my nose, but it's hay fever season. I need you to forgive me, people. Please. Some empathy, please. What about 8 Mile? I have not watched 8 Mile. I have not watched that film. Tissues ad. <laughs> Just like Simi's documentary needed to be two hours, 17 minutes, right? Yeah, uh, that was how long it needed to be. I also find it so interesting how, like, people call it a documentary because I never thought of it like that when I was making it. I was just like, oh, it was just some interviews. But, like, I've heard a few a few people say, yo, bro, I liked your documentary. I was like, documentary? Okay, sure. <laughs> Has this man been on Reddit yet? RJ, I was on Reddit. I saw your post, RJ. I saw it. <laughs> I can't even remember it, but I do remember there being, oh, it was a freaking Muhammad Ali post. <laughs> I mean, isn't it a documentary? I get, yeah, I get how it can be considered that. I was just thinking I never thought of it that way when I was making it. You know what I mean? You forgot my comment where I called you next documentary YouTuber. Yeah, Adrian, that's like part of what I mean. Like I saw that and I was like, oh, documentary. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. You know what? Without further ado, let's just get into it. I I'm forgetting that I was already, like, late. We need to keep the show moving. You know what I mean? So, yeah, next, let's check out that Ratchet and Clank trailer. Love that Minecraft music. Let's go. Um, But just if anyone's curious, I also watched um a film called Mangrove. It was part of uh, Small Axe, which is a series of films produced, um, I think, for the BBC by Steve McQueen. Um, and they detail different aspects of um, black Britishness in history. Mangrove was really good. It was about a trial regarding this restaurant opened in the 60s, I think. Um, and it was like a hotspot for, you know, Jamaicans and Caribbean people to just hang out within the community. But it kept getting ransacked by the police just because they thought, you know, these black people were getting too bold for their boots or whatever. Um, and so there was a trial and everything. It's, it's it's so good. It's freaking good. It's called Mangrove. It's part of Small Axe. If you're from the UK, you can watch it on the BBC for free. BBC iPlayer. I would check that out. I also watched Judas and the Black Messiah because that was nominated for an Oscar. And I was like, let me let me see this movie. That was freaking fantastic as well. So, yeah. Yeah. No, great. Great films. Great films. Letitia Wright is in it. Yeah, Letitia Wright is in it, Adri. You're right. Uh, she was great. She was great in that movie. Letitia Wright. Who, who, well, she was in uh, Black Panther. So if anyone... She was the sister in Black Panther, if you're wondering. So legit, though. Who's the lead in Judas? You know what, Kevin? That's very interesting. Because um, we're going to we're gonna get the... Uh, what's it called? The, the video up. But I just want to respond to this question. Because I think it's a very interesting question. When I heard that Daniel Kaluuya one for best supporting actor i was like i was like oh i thought he was the main character and then i watched the movie and i'm like he is the main character <laughs> now that i get why they gave him supporting actor but honestly i feel like both lakeith stanfield and daniel kaluuya should have been nominated for best lead i feel like they both should have been nominated for best lead it shouldn't have been oh lakeith i don't know if lakeith got nominated for best lead i don't know if he did but that's how I imagine they made it work out. But Daniel Kaluuya deserved best lead. Now, hey, it's a freaking nomination for the Oscars, whatever. But just in terms of if you watch the movie, this dude, this dude's a, a main character. He's not freaking supporting. Who's he supporting? Who's he supporting? It's him. It's his freaking movie, but whatever. They both got nominated for supporting. Hold on. Cut the music. Wait. Really? They both got nominated for supporting. So who... Was there a lead Oscar nomination for that movie? I'll watch it when we look at the Oscar results. But that is... 
That is very surprising. Who are they supporting? You can't get nominated for supporting if no one was leading. <laughs> Whoa, that's mad. That's actually really weird. That is really weird. You're saying it's called category fraud? That is odd. That is very odd. Are you joking? Okay. Okay. We'll see. Um, did I watch the Venom movie? I did. I watched it with my friends when it came out in the cinema. <laughs> so Jesse Piemons is the uh, lead. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Zero protagonists in Judas and the Black Messiah. <laughs> Man. That's weird. That's weird. Can we watch the best Oscar vid of 2021? Let me know what it is. And then uh, I'll see. Um, but yeah. Okay. Let's check out this trailer though. Without further ado, people. Let me show you what we're looking at here. This is the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart gameplay trailer. A minute, 41 seconds. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to find out more about the, um, like, Lombax. The other Lombax. The new one. So let's see. All ready to go. Let's check it out. Hold on a second. Did I say animated blood? There's no blood in Ratchet and Clank. It's probably going to be like some green goo or something. Alcohol reference? All right, I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank! What a wonderful surprise! Doctor what Nefarious. Do you want, Nefarious. We're going to a dimension where I always win. <laughs> Clank? Where am I? A wombax? Who are you? I'm Rivet. Let's go for a ride. Wait. 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 What she say? Her name was Riven. I'm Riven? Wait, is that is that subtitles? Okay. Who are you? I'm Rivet. Let's go for a ride. Rivet Wait, or Riven? I have to find my friend. Oh, we actually play as her? You have returned. Yes. Emperor. He looks a lot like mine. Evil like him too. And that wait, wait, wait. I'm just looking at her tail and I was like, wait, does Ratchet have a tail? I'm actually, I don't think Ratchet has a tail, right? Or does he? And I've never freaking paid attention to it. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. He looks a lot like why is it, why is it lagging? What's going on? Yo, this is weird. It's lagging like crazy for some reason. You're nefarious. He looks a lot like mine. Evil like him too. And that Lombax. I'm coming, Clank. If we do not get the Dimensionator now, we may lose every dimension. Oh my. Oh, Ratchet does have a tail. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. Interesting. It's not as bushy. It's not as bushy as her tail, though. I will say, though. So I was still right to notice her tail in that sense. But, um, okay. Okay. That looked interesting. I, I feel like there still wasn't that much gameplay, actually, to be honest. Um, but, you know, interesting. Dr. Nefarious is back, which I was surprised by. I didn't think it'd be him. I didn't think he'd be the enemy of the um of the the game i hope that we get the butler character i can't remember is it lawrence or terence whatever whatever his butler is called i, I hope that character comes back too but 
Her name is Livid. Huh? No. You troll it, right? It's not Livid. It was like, she said Riv, Riv. It began with the letter R. Let me just try it. Let me see it again. Clank? Bombax? Oh, wait, wait. Did it say it on here? Um, okay, that's not English. Who are you? I'm Rivet. Let's go. Yeah. It's like Rivet or Rivet. And you're saying it's Lawrence? Okay, cool. That looked all right. I love it when gameplay trailers give 2% gameplay. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, cool. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to need to see more. I'll I'm going to play it. And, you know, we play as Rivet. So that's interesting. I'm going to see the comments just to uh, solidify that it's that the name is Rivet. Yeah, people are saying Rivet. Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah, um, we'll have to see more, I guess. I don't know. I, I liked it. I liked it. I wasn't, like, blown away, though. You know what I mean? But I did like it. And I guess we'll see more when the game comes out it's gonna be interesting playing a ratchet and clank game where clank is with another character that's not ratchet that feels weird but i guess it'll be interesting to see he's saying ribbon the name's ribbon <laughs> um that time for noob we're gonna watch that trailer next the trailer for apex legends there's a sequel coming out for venom right yeah yeah, they announced that there was going to be a sequel like a long time ago. Is there something new to do with it? Honestly, I didn't particularly like Venom, so I'm not that excited for it. <laughs> but that's cool. Ratchet and Clank and Ribbon. Yes, of course, of course. Why was Simi sitting while Simba was sweating his ass off in the kitchen? Bruh, um, it's lockdown. What do you want me to do? I'm just going to be sitting down while he cooks. That's, that's how it is. That's how it is. <laughs> Watch stories from the Outlands first. I watched that already. I've already seen that one. You like that Venom song, Eminem, man? Oh, is it? I can't remember how it goes. It's like, it's the part where it says, it's Venom, Venom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't listen to it much. I, I don't remember having any strong feelings about it. Simi making pizza while Simba sits in front of his PC next. Yo, that's an interesting idea, huh? Pizza though, I'm not proficient. Hey, you know, that's part of the fun. Not being that good at it. Um, React to Simba comments. Trey, what do you mean? Okay. All right, yeah. So that was the trailer for the new Ratchet and Clank that's coming out. So interesting. We'll see more. Available 11th of June. All right, next. I want to see that Apex Legends trailer. Apex handles law very impressively. It is very cool. Six minutes. Six minutes. Holy crap. Okay. Damn. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Let's check this out. Simi makes Jollof of Rice off Simba instructions. That'll be sick. Yeah, I gotta ask Simba. Does he? I can't. I'm not even sure if he like. Makes jollof rice like that, you know. It might make more sense the other way around, to be honest. <laughs> um, oh crap, you're gonna stream Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart in the middle of exams. Yo, it'd be like that, Kevin. But you'll, you'll find a way. <laughs> alright, alright, let's see what we got. Ooh, let's go. Yo, I swear this thing is struggling like crazy. I don't know what's going on. New permanent mode. Three versus three. Custom tailored maps. They say knowledge is power. Three v three. But what do you do with it? That's what's important. Three v three, okay. Does that mean beasts and memes are, are going to be up in here with me? What, what's going on? But the arenas are where legends are made. I said danger close. Weren't you listening? The arenas are my games. They're not about fame or spectacle. They are about the fight. Arkstar! Okay. 
The rules are simple. It's just your squad and their squad. Adios, okay. Champ. Whoever survives wins. Pre-match. Now pay attention. This is how the game is played. Assemble your squad in the customary fashion. Yeah. Before the fight begins, squads are enclosed in their spawn room and have access to the shop. Oh. Here you can purchase Ooh. weapons, items, and abilities with crafting materials. Okay. I will grant you a set amount of materials at the start of each round. Okay. You may earn more through your performance. Materials can be used immediately or saved for superior equipment later. I'm sorry, why are you using the Mozambique by choice? Come on now, don't be silly about it. <laughs> no purchased gear. Bro, every time I pause and then play, the computer's like, oh, sorry, I can't do this anymore. Later in the match, no purchased gear follows between you gonna be sensible or not? All right, cool. Where's all my stuff? I didn't hear what I said, though. Or saved for superior equipment later in the match. No purchased gear follows between rounds. Where, oh, okay. Where's all my stuff? Materials can be used to upgrade weapons, making you an even greater threat. At the end of the buy phase, the shields drop and the fun begins. Both teams engage Red in combat blue. until one side is wiped out. Downed teammates can still teams engage in combat until one side is wiped out. Downed teammates can still be revived. But in this game, there are no respawns. Use the pressure. Oh, okay. It's the only way to survive. Supply bins containing consumables and material canisters are scattered throughout the arena. A single airdrop drops. containing three weapons arrives in the middle of each round. The tier of the weapons in the drop pod increases from round to round. Use them to overpower your competition. Yo, it's this looks so risk. good. High reward. Maybe next time, you should try a different path. The first team to score three victories with a two-win margin will be declared the champion. Oh. The team's battle to a deadlock 4-4 tie. Round nine is my favorite part. Sudden okay. death. Dosing up some amped cover. Knock down more than a few. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. What? Each arena has its own personality and acts as an optimal combat testing ground. The Phase Runner on Olympus wasn't the first of its kind. A prototype long abandoned rests in a remote section of Talos. Luckily, it remains intact and functional, providing unique combat opportunities to those clever enough to seize them. There's a research afoot. And then, yeah. of course, uh... Coma was simply another Outlands hotspot turned yesterday's news until an ill-fated joyride gave it a new landmark. You're welcome. With my assistance, the city has been reignited with a new monument to incompetence. Thank Let's you for go. this. I feel much better about myself now. I have also secured some viable locations throughout the Outlands to serve as arenas. And don't get too comfortable. The future promises to be a bit fiery. I think someone's here. Oh yes. A new legend. New legend, has let's go. Fight. This little one and I share a common legacy. Pilot blood runs through her veins. This is Valkyrie. Sending down hellfire. Oh, crap. She is as fearless as she is reckless. Friend Wait, what? So, make sure you look up as she takes the fight to the skies. Your journey ends here, legends. The skies belong to me now. Um, okay. So she can fly. The arenas are the ultimate test of skill and resolve. Is that a bow and so arrow? I have a gift. The Bocek compound bow. This precision weapon requires patience and pinpoint consistency. It is made even deadlier with its two hop-up slots. Legends can combine shatter caps, splitting the arrow tip into a shotgun pattern. And Deadeye's tempo, allowing a faster draw when firing at the optimal pace. Master all of this, and you will become a true assassin. You gotta take risks to be champ. Is that like the infinite ammo or what? What sort of ammo would I use? Hopefully. 
You can impress me. I'll see you in the arenas. Olympus security perimeter alert. Multiple unknown oh, ships when entering is this secure out? space. All personnel, please secure docking stations and prepare for arrival. Security forces on full alert. Strap and beauty. Things are about to get mighty interesting. Fourth of May, let's go! Okay. Yo, that looked so good. That looked so good. Whoa. Okay. All right. I want to play that. I want to play that. Okay. What day of the week is the 4th of May? That's a Tuesday. All right. You already know what's happening next Tuesday, people. We're going to hit up Reese and... I was about to say Reese and Gamer Sir. We're about to hit up Reese and Memesley. We're going to be checking out this Apex Legends Legacy. Oh, that looked so good. That looked so good. Yo. Yo, I can't wait for that. Read the arena blog post on Apex's website. I mean, it's just going to be them explaining more about it. I, I imagine, right? Like. Oh, is it like having like more lore stuff? Like I'm looking at the page now. Introducing arenas. So we've, they've told us about that. New legend Valkyrie. Um, infested Olympus and infestation has sprung loose, strangling the city with roots and natural growths. New weapon, the Bocek bow. Legacy battle pass, legacy ranked. Uh, this was the stories from the Outlands of North Star. So we have Valkyrie there. Yeah, we've like seen. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything new to see here unless there's something else I'm missing. But it's pretty much what we've already seen. Um, but that looked really good. That looked really good. You already know what we're doing next Tuesday, peeps. One hundred gigabyte update. I'll update it before the stream. Don't don't you worry. I'll come prepared. But yeah, I can't wait for that <laughs> arthritis gameplay. Hey, that arthritis gameplay gets the job done. Did you see that victory royale we got last time? Hawkeye by Apex. She straight up fought, just fought it in his face in the execution. <laughs> 10 times better than the Ratchet and Clank trailer. Well, I mean, different games to be fair, but that one had me a lot more excited than the Ratchet and Clank trailer. I'll tell you that. Your update, unless you sleep again. <laughs> nah, don't worry. We'll be on time. We'll be on time. There's another blog. This is time for a noob. Um, Apex Legends Legacy blog. Okay, I'm looking at this one, which says introducing arenas, a permanent new game mode coming to Apex Legends. Arenas is a new permanent game mode. Yeah, yeah, we know this. Blah, 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 blah. Winning an arenas match. You need to win at least three rounds and be ahead of the enemy team by two points. So uh, three nil, three one. Um, but if it's more than that, then, you know, you can't be three, two or four, three. You have to do four, two or five, three. Um, and it continues to the ninth round by going 4-4. Four, four. So that's interesting. That's an interesting way of doing it. Originally, we had a best of seven round system for determining wins in arenas, but we kept seeing a lot of 4-0 or nil to 4 blowouts. These felt terrible for the losing side and sort of boring for the winners. Our new rule set takes a bit of getting used to, but prevents total blowout games from dragging on for too long. Oh, okay. So if it's like 3-0, then it's like, okay, game's over. You know, no point in a fourth one. So that makes sense. Um, it also lets more competitive games keep the heat going for longer and gives teams a chance to come back and win. Okay. I like that. I do like that. Oh, and this is how they do it with like match point and tiebreaker. That is cool as well. And sudden death. Right. Um, that's nice gear up for battle. So we've seen this where you use your, um, C points. I can't remember what they're called, but use your points to purchase the weapons. This looks like a really fun game mode. I really want to play this. I really want to play this. And then we've got all the maps as well. Yo, I actually can't wait to play this with my boys. It's going to be a fun time. 
<laughs> no, actually, what helps me get a win? Even we've got a win. What do you mean? We got a win on stream, and we're gonna get wins in this one. We've got the dream team. We got Reese. We got Memesley. Trust us. We're gonna pull it off. We're gonna pull it off. Trust us. Buy new ear pads. Oh, you're not happy with the ear pads I've got? They're a bit too withered for you. Yeah, I've been I've been planning to get new ones. I'm planning to get new ones. So don't you worry. A win. Hey, Basil. A win is still a win. What am I gonna say? Still a win. All right. But yeah, no. Looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good time for sure. For sure. Okay. Well, yeah. I guess the only thing left is to take a look at this Oscar stuff. So we'll be checking that out. Um, when am I doing it with fans? Playing Apex with fans? That'd be a cool idea for some time. I guess we'll see. I actually want to carry Simi. Have you played Apex, Trey? We'll see about that. We'll see about that. But yeah, some, um, some like, um, games with viewers would be cool as well. We'll, we'll get that set up sometime. I am really excited for this new game mode. It looks like a lot of fun. I really want to play it. Not a fan of this game, but I really want to see you playing this with the boys. Hell yeah, Richard. Hell yeah. I appreciate that. All right. So, um, I've just searched Oscars. And we've got the uh, 93rd Academy Awards up on Google. So we'll see what it says. You're probably going to have a cadicorous situation on your hands. Dude, perfect. I'm not going to lie. I don't understand. <laughs> um, okay. Wow. Nomadland won Best Picture? Nomadland won Best Picture. Interesting. Okay. I watched Nomadland and I liked it, but I don't think it was best picture. You know what I mean? But I did like it. Um, I watched The Father as well. I watched that as well. Uh, I thought that was great. It was it was a mind bend, but it was great. It was the dead on favorite. That's why. Why? I'm very confused as to why that was the favorite. Um, yo, I've actually watched... All but three of the movies that were nominated for Best Picture. I haven't seen The Trial of the Chicago 7, Minari, or Mank, but I've seen all the other ones. If I were to choose my best picture out of all of these, hmm, I would either give it to Judas and the Black Messiah or Sound of Metal. If I had to choose, I would give it to Judas and the Black Messiah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Minari is the only one you should see out of the ones I need to see. Okay, then. Yeah, I, w I do want to check that out. But, yeah, okay, interesting. Kadikura's situation is where you keep having PC problems and not uploading for three months. Well, my PC has been good, so I don't think I'm going to run into that. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> you ate a lot of pizza, gents? Nice. <laughs> Watch EA sponsor Simi. We'll see, Basil. We'll see. <laughs> If I haven't roasted them too much. All right. So that's the best picture win. I like that. Well, I don't know. It wasn't the best picture for me. I haven't, it wasn't the best picture for me. But it's still a nice movie. So I don't mind. Um, but yeah. If you say it was the favorite one, then cool. Best actor, Anthony Hopkins for The Father. Anthony Hopkins was very good in that movie. It was very good. I am surprised... That um, the Judas and the Black Messiah actors were not in here. I'm very, very surprised about that. But it was good. Um, Riz Ahmed was very good in Sound of Metal as well. I haven't watched the other ones, so I can't be sure. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman, of course. Um, if I were to choose out of Anthony Hopkins for The Father or Riz Ahmed for Sound of Metal... It's interesting, because in a way, they both deal with similar subject matter. In a way, in a way. I would have given it to... Hmm. Oh, it's tough to say. It's actually tough to say between these two. I'm Anthony Hopkins deserved it, but I might have given it to Riz. But Anthony Hopkins uh, deserves that win. Um, okay, yeah, Trey, we'll see. I will, we'll check out who's still streaming by the end. Do I even watch Kid Icarus? I've seen a fair amount of Kid Icarus videos, but I'm not like, I don't keep up. You know what I mean? 
And please, no all caps, yeah? Like, let me just read it in regular text, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sound of Metal looks like it's gonna make me cry, so I'm done. So I'm done gonna watch that? You're saying like you don't think you're gonna watch it? Yeah, I mean, Sound of Metal, it is, yeah, it's an emotional ride. It's an emotional ride. Oh crap, wait. Let me, um. I just wanna bring up the Discord. So let me not expose anybody out here, you know what I mean? What's going on in the chat? Okay, we've got Daniel Kaluuya. All right, cool. All right, well, there's nothing I really needed to see there. <laughs> um, okay, so you're saying you don't want to watch it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Adrian. It is a nice movie though. So if you can muster, if you can muster it up, it is a nice movie. Best actress, Frances McDormand for Nomadland. She was good in Nomadland. Um, she was good, but there was nothing particularly like, whoa, best actress, you know? So I'm not I'm not sure about this one, but hey, Frances McDormand, that's her third Oscar. Congratulations. I might have given it to Carrie Mulligan for Promising Young Woman. Uh, she was good in that, but I do feel like the... The, there wasn't in she could have won if the movie had more of an opportunity for Karen Mulligan to show off but it was a fairly one note film in terms of her performance I don't know if that's fair to say but yeah I don't know I don't know uh but Francis I haven't seen the other ones so I can't say although Viola Davis was in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom but I haven't seen it so I don't know yeah I don't know like, compared to Frances McDormand's performance in Three Billboards, I was like, she absolutely needs the Oscar for that. This one, I'm just like, oh, okay, sure, whatever. Frances McDormand now joins the elite three-time Oscar winners club for acting. Okay, nice. Even Mel Streep only got three Oscar wins. I've only seen... Oh, I've seen two Mel Streep movies. I was about to say, I've only seen one, but I've seen two. So, fair, fair. I saw her in Devil Wears Prada. And in the hours. So yeah, I haven't actually seen many Mel Street movies, so I don't really know what the hype is. But she's good. I won't deny that, but I haven't seen enough of her movies to know, you know what I mean? At this rate, you're never gonna get onto Ratchet and Clank 2. That might be. I already went into the stream knowing that it was potentially possible that it's just gonna be a talking stream today, but we'll see. <clears throat> okay, best original song. Ah yes, I love this song. I was listening to this today. Oh, I'm really happy this one. I really like this song. I was literally listening to this today, like on loop. On loop. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I was hoping for fresh blood in terms of Carrie, but oh well. Oh, for her to win and be like, you know, a new um, Academy Award winner. Yeah, yeah. But always new opportunities. Plus, I mean, when it comes to these awards, I, I, I get that for the actors it must like mean a lot or whatever for the people in the film industry but like i don't know i just feel like like with grammys because i hear people who get annoyed that they weren't nominated for anything like the weekend which i can understand his annoyance his album was very good and for it to not get uh, nominated for anything is like really weird but it's also like it's an award you know what i mean it's the work that matters and i but the only thing i can get is that it does affect your career it can affect your career you know, if you get an award, it's like a really, you know, it's a big boost for your career. But aside from that, I'm just like, eh, whatever, man. Kevin's saying it's the highest honor. Is it the highest honor? Like, it's the highest honor. But is it the highest honor? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is it really? Come on. But yeah, I get what you mean in terms of an award. It's nice to get one, in it? After Hours was a whole experience. After Hours? Oh. What's After Hours? Is that another film? Dark Comedies. Oh, okay. I was about to say series, but it's not a series. By Martin Scorsese? Interesting. Okay, then. Cool, cool. Um, where was I? Here. Don't you think Kevin should get an Oscar? An Oscar for what? <laughs> <laughs> when Kevin directs his movie that he's written his original screenplay for, and it's sick, because it will be, 
then Kevin will get his Oscar. Hell yeah. Two Oscars. Best original screenplay or adapted and best directing. Hell, best picture either. He's going to produce it too. Let's go. All right. Um, best Supporting Actress. I haven't watched Minari, but this goes to Yoon Yeo-jung. So, congratulations. International Feature, Another Round. Oh, I have this in my watch list. So, interesting. Best Director, Chloe Zhao for Nomadland. See, this is, um... Hmm, okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard for me to judge directing when it's like a movie like this because it looks quite, um, I don't want to say simple, but it weren't like set pieces, so to speak. Um, so it's hard for me to judge and be like, oh no, this doesn't deserve it or it does because I don't really know what goes into directing. But um, congratulations to Chloe Zhao. That's very cool. Second time in Oscar history that a female has won for best director. Oh, crap. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, then. Second time. You know, it's like, you understand just because, you know, they freaking, it's a, it's a boys club, isn't it? But damn, all right. Who was the first? I'm very curious about that. Who was the first? Best Supporting Actor, Daniel Kaluuya. Congratulations to Daniel Kaluuya. Um, Should have been Best Actor, but, you know, it is what it is. Lakeith Stanfield was fantastic as well. Paul Racy was really good too. Honestly, um, I've seen I've only seen these three, so I haven't seen these two acting in their respective movies. But very good performances. Catherine Bigelow for the Hurt Locker was the first one. Okay, right, interesting. He wouldn't have a chance against Bozeman and Hopkins. Oh, Hopkins. You think so? Um. Well. Poor AC1 in my heart. Okay. You know, okay, that's interesting. You say he wouldn't have a chance. Do you mean in terms of the actual performance or in terms of like the sort of politics of the Academy Awards? Because I he was very good. He he, he was freaking fantastic. Soul wins for best animated feature, which was to be expected, honestly, is Pixar, so that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> but Soul was very good, so I like that. Soul was very good. Daniel, you agree with for the win? Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, congratulations to Daniel. I think I'm going to be checking out his speech. Apparently something happened with his speech. So that's, that'll be interesting to see. Best documentary feature. I have not watched any of these, but I have added a few of them to my watch list. Best original score goes to Soul. Um, okay, cool. Cool. I did like the... Um, I don't know what how to describe it. Um, but I liked the score for this film. I'm actually not sure what word I would use to describe the, the score for Soul. If anyone has a, an idea of a word they'd use, let me know. Why do they separate animated movies? They're movies too. Um, you know what? Well, sometimes animated films do get nominated for Best Picture, right? But it's also because it's like such a different genre. It's just so different. It's like Best Documentary Feature. It's just so different. You know what I mean? I feel like it's good that they separate them, honestly. Otherwise, I don't think animated films would get enough recognition. I don't think they would stand much of a chance against the live-action films, if I'm being honest. Soul won two Oscars. Cool, cool. So it won Best Animated Feature and Best Score. And you're saying electrifying is the word you'd describe it with? I guess, uh, I don't know if I'd use the word electrifying. To me, that means, like, energizing it wasn't quite energizing it was more like um I don't, ethereal is that the word ethereal i don't know best original screenplay goes to promising young woman um nah <laughs> i wouldn't give it to uh best i wouldn't give it to uh promising young woman honestly i think i would give it to out of the ones i've seen Hmm, actually, the actual screenplay, though, it's not just about the movie, it's the screenplay. Huh. Okay, maybe to Promising Young Women, maybe. Such good movies with such a great message. Oh, such a good movie, same for Soul, right? Yeah, Soul was great. 
jazzy, you're saying. Yeah, it could be considered jazzy, the soundtrack for this. They distributed the Oscars to a bit of all the movies, so Pretty Young Woman's only shot was in screenplay. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Best adapted screenplay goes to The Father, which was cool. Honestly, I thought that um, Judas and the Black Messiah was going to go to best adapted screenplay because it was based on true events. And usually that's kind of how that goes. Um, but okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I think The Father, yeah, like that, that should get for best adapted screenplay. That movie was a total bruh. Bruh, I was... I don't want to say anything to ruin it for people, but it was, um, if you're going to watch this movie, yeah, you're in for a ride, okay? Um, Two Distant Strangers won for best live action short film. Okay, you know what? That's really cool. My sister's going to be very happy to hear that, actually. Very happy to hear that because she recommended I watch this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and then we had like a discussion about it afterwards. So she's going to be very pleased about that. If she doesn't know already, which she probably does. I was legitimately off the internet today so that I wouldn't find out and so I could see it on stream. Turn it one for best visual effects. I haven't seen that movie, so I don't know too much about that. Um, yeah, I'm not, I, I don't know about any of these other ones, honestly. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom won two Oscars, though, for the, um, you know, makeup, hairstyling, and costume design. So that's cool. Whenever it's like a period piece. Um, these movies tend to win these categories, so that's pretty cool. Best film editing goes to Sound of Metal. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, that's cool. I like that. Is it going to get best sound editing? It absolutely should. It absolutely should. Production design. Haven't seen that movie. Animated short film. Not familiar with any of these. Uh, let's just keep going. Best sound. Sound of Metal. Good. Good. What did Tyler Perry win for? John John Herschelt Humanitarian Award. I'm guessing that's what the final A is for. Best sound goes to sound of metal. All right, fantastic, as I would expect. Where's sound editing or sound mixing? Did they just um mix sound into one category? Because there used to be sound editing and then sound mixing. So I don't get what that idea is. Normally, Sound of Metal potentially would have won sound only, but the fact it won film editing too. Um, yeah. Yeah, let me just... Best film editing. Yeah, it was really good. It was, it was a very well done movie. Tyler Perry legit won an Oscar for being rich and having a whole studio. <laughs> really? Is that what it's for? <laughs> Bill, yes, we already did Reddit Monday. We already did it. Banana Man, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Colette was produced by Respawn Entertainment. What's Colette? Wait, let me go to... Um, is Colette another movie? Oh, Colette is a short film. Oh, okay. It was produced by Respawn Entertainment? Is that banter? Are you serious? I'm looking at it now. Wait, Colette short film, Respawn. For real? Wow. They won an Oscar? Respawn Entertainment. The creators are, that is nuts. How did that, wait, why did they produce a film? Oh, is it animated? Is it an animated film? Hold on a second. I'm looking at it now. Respawn Entertainment has won an Oscar for their short film Colette at the 93rd Academy Awards last night. The studio has made history at the award show by being the first video game studio to be nominated and win an Academy Award for Best Documentary Short. Colette was made in collaboration with Oculus and filmmakers Anthony Giacchino and Alice Doyard for the VR game Medal of Honor Above and Beyond. Oh, okay. So it's like a short doc that was made as a VR experience as promo for another game. That's just my quick skimming over it that I've um <laughs> that I've gleaned. I have not properly read the article. But nice, that came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was not expecting that at all. 
It's also produced by Laura Dern. She was in um, Laura Dern. She played the lawyer in a marriage story. Yeah, this is Laura Dern. Anyone wondering? What else was she in? Jurassic Park. I haven't seen any of these other movies, but uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Google, that was not for you. Go away. Bill Servicing, I hope my Reddit Monday submission got its deserved respect. I can't even remember, Bill. Honestly, I feel like the whole Reddit Monday was weak. But you can look at the board and see how I responded to your post. <laughs> All right. Nice. Nice. So, yeah, let's see these videos that I've been informed I should react to. Um... Okay. Oh, it's just one Daniel video. Kaluuya. It's just the Daniel Kaluuya win. Okay, that's easy enough. So yeah, we'll check this out. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, Trey, I saw it. Right, it was um, it was Daniel Kaluuya holding his award. Nice one. Um, wait, you said you sent two videos? Okay, so one of them isn't available. Um, what's this one? Oh, okay, I get what you mean. All right, all right, all right. I've got, I've got, I've got both videos you want me to check out. So we'll watch these. All right, Kevin, when do you want to speak? Before or after we watch these? But this should be interesting. Let's watch them first. We'll watch them first. So this is Daniel Kaluuya's win. <laughs> Bring on the cam, cut the music. All right, claim gods, come and get me. I already know it's gonna happen. All right, let's do it. Oh wait, say his name. Daniel Kaluuya. Oh yeah, how are they doing the Oscars this year? Is it like, they're not all in one place. They can't be, right? So are they, do they all have their own separate, like, you know, each movie batch has their own separate, like, place they're going to? I don't get it. Oh, it actually looks like they're all in the, like, a, but a reduced. Oh, okay, they created a hub in different countries. So this is the UK hub, or oh, I don't know if he's in the UK right now, to be honest, but okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Man, man, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I can't be here without your guidance and your protection. I right, thank my mom. Thank you so much for pouring into me. The US you hub, gave me everything. okay. You gave me your factory Aww. settings. <laughs> so I can stand at my fullest height. Um, love to my sister, love to my niece, my friends, my family, everyone I love from London town to Kampala. Um, I'd like to thank my team, um, incredible support. Bro, we out here. Yo. Oh, yeah. Man. Man. It's good. Come on, Dan. Ryan. Zinzi. Sev. Proximity, everyone at Proximity, Charles King, man, everyone at Macro, Bron, Participant, Nigel, everyone at... Are you saying only two family members are allowed to be seated? Interesting, right. Warner Brothers, thank you so much for everything you poured into this. Everything you poured into this. It's so hard to make a film and make a film about a man like this. And, and they made it possible. They made it happen. Um, I share this honor film. with um, uh, the gift that is Lakeith Stanfield. Um, yeah. The light that is, yeah, yeah. Lakeith is amazing, yeah, like freaking Fishman. amazing. The incredible cast, the incredible crew, you know what I mean? Lucas Brothers for starting a journey, Will Burson, I see you. You know, it's, it's so incredible to look around you, to look around you and just go, you're inspired by not only what they do, but who they are. So that's amazing. Chairman Fred Jr. and Mama Kua, thank you so much for allowing us into your life and into your story. Thank you, thank you for trusting us, you know, with your truth. 
appreciate you deeply and it's an honor to, to partner up and, and stand side by side with you. And to Chairman Fred Hampton, bro, man, man, what a man. Fred Hampton was the um, <clears throat> leader of the division of the Black Panther Party in Chicago that the movie's based on. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat went a little bit dry there. Just so that anyone who doesn't know. So he, that's the character he played. A real person that lived. What a man. How blessed we are that we lived in a lifetime where he existed. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, thank you for your light. He was on this earth for 21 years. 21 years, and he found a way to feed kids, breakfast, educate kids, give free medical care against all the odds. He showed, he showed me, he taught me. Him, Huey P. Newton, Bobby Seale, the Black Panther Party, they showed me how to love myself. And with that love, they overflowed it to the black community and, and to other communities. And they showed us that the power of union, power of unity, that when they play divide and conquer, we say unite and ascend. Thank you so much for sharing me myself. And yeah, man, there's so much work to do, guys. And that's on everyone in this room. This ain't no single man job. That's some real. And I look to everyone, every single one of you. You got work to do. Do you understand? Know and I'm going to get back to work Tuesday morning because tonight I'm going up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We're enjoying ourselves tonight because we've got to celebrate. We've got to celebrate life, man. We're breathing. We're walking. It's incredible. It's incredible. Like, it's incredible. My mom met my dad. They had sex. It's amazing. What? <laughs> what? what? Yeah, I'm, so, I'm so happy to be alive. So we're going to celebrate that tonight. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate every single person in the room. Appreciate everyone watching at home, you know. Love. Peace, love, and onwards. Woo! We go Let's again. go. <laughs> Shout out to Daniel Kaluuya. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, his mom was mad confused. He's like, did he say that? Huh? Daniel. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was freaking amazing. I love that. I love that. Fellas, would you appreciate your parents banging? Absolutely. His mom isn't having that. Let's rewind real quick. Her reaction no. was priceless. We got up. You know what I mean? His sister's reaction too? Okay, I'll pay attention. We're celebrate life, man. We're breathing, we're walking. It's incredible. It's incredible. Like, it's incredible. My mom met my dad. They had sex. It's amazing. Like, just, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? so, I'm so happy to be alive. So I'm going to celebrate that tonight. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. And I appreciate every single person Let's in the room. go. That was amazing. That was freaking amazing. Yo, shout out to Daniel Kaluuya. What the flip? What the flip, bro? <laughs> That was great. That was great. No, shout out to Daniel Kaluuya. Very nice speech. Um, I had to hold him my laughter at 4 a.m. <laughs> His mom was like, hey, what did you say? <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> oh, man. But no, like, um, yeah, no, what he's saying about, you know, Fred Hampton. Watching that movie, it was so freaking inspiring, honestly. Like, you feel the energy that he gave off. Um, and that's a testament to Daniel Kaluuya's performance. He absolutely deserved that Oscar. Congratulations to him. I was very happy to hear you won. I watched the movie today, by the way. When I saw, you know, I was like, oh, because I did see a headline that he had won the Oscar. So I was like, all right, let me watch this movie. So that was fantastic. I am... I am a revolutionary. A revolutionary. Hell yeah, Kevin. That's a line from the movie, if anyone's wondering. Very good film. I'd recommend you check it out. Recommend you check it out, you know? Um, nah. It, it was good. It was good. What? What? what watch uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. Aside from the message as well, it's just like a very good movie. Like, it's a fun time, too. So, yeah. I think Kaluuya's speech was the best of the night. Okay. Nice one, nice one. So what, you want me to check out this like highlights video as well? All right, let's see what we've got here. Yeah, people, it's looking like this is gonna be the stream today. We'll, we'll resume Ratchet and Clank 2 tomorrow. <laughs> okay, XD is me with the Tama sweat, hell yeah. 
Okay, okay. Highlights from the 2021 Oscars. Uh, it's two minutes and 53 seconds. Let's check out these highlights. Glenn Close, you know what? You're going to see it. Glenn Close. Is that the late? Who's Glenn Close? I need to I need to search up who Glenn Close is. Okay, yeah, that is who I thought it was. Okay, yeah. Uh, anyone who's not sure, Glenn Close is this lady right here. All right, cool. What was she in? Was she in a movie that I've seen? I'm not sure. I'm trying to... Where's the freaking video? <laughs> Alright, we got it. We got it. He had a full-on wholesome speech and then finished on talking about his parents banging. For real. For real. Alright, let's see what we got. Yo, let's go! I, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot her name, but you know, shout out to her. I... Someone help me out. Someone help me out. But shout out to her. Oh, oh, wait. It said it. It said it. What did it say? Something King? Regina King. Regina King. Let's go. Live TV. Here we go. No land. Did she trip over? What happened? Nomadland. Please watch our movie on the largest screen possible. And the Oscar goes to... Chloe Zhao. Nomadland. Cool. Is for anyone who has the faith. Oh, is this made by MDB? Oh, it's like an actual nice. I thought it was like a fan made video. You know what I mean? Oh, she nearly tripped over. Is that what that was? Yeah, I saw it. it looked like she stumbled a little bit. And the courage to hold on to the goodness in themselves and to hold on to the goodness in each other. And the Oscar for Best Nomadland was good. I liked it. Francis McDormand. My voice is in my sword. Huh? We know the sword is our work. There's so much work to do, guys, and that's on everyone in this room. Tonight I'm going up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going up, you know what I mean? Peace, love, and onwards. The best films are nice. the ones we feel. Riz right. Ahmed, let's go. Oh my god, he's so heavy. Oh, this is the lady who directed Promising Young Woman. This is beyond Hell anything yeah. I could ever imagine. Except this is something I've always imagined. <laughs> and the Oscar for Best Animated Feature goes to... Soul. Soul. We want to thank music teachers and art teachers everywhere. You make the world a better place. And the Oscar goes to Jo Jung Yoon. Mr. Pig, finally. <laughs> nice to meet you. Were you. Where were you while we were filming in Tulsa? Oh, Brad Pitt, okay. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second, I know that's the butt. The that's butt? The butt, I know that. The butt was. Wait a second. And the Oscar goes. Okay. <laughs> Her, I believe we have an opportunity and a responsibility to me. Oh, did they mean the baby? Is that what she was trying to say? No, no, she said the butt. I feel like and no one corrected her. Cause he she I think is is it the butt? Or did she actually Oh, it was the butt. I was about to say, like, there's no way she meant the baby. Like no one corrected her, bro. It's from a Spike Lee movie. Okay, then. Fair. Fair. Glenn Close twerked at the Oscars. Let's not use the word twerk too liberally here, okay? <laughs> let's, um, let's have some standards. <laughs> she shook. She shook, okay? <laughs> um, to tell the truth, you will remain as we remember you. Always. Rest in peace, the Chadwick Boseman. Taught me to refuse Tyler hate. Perry, what's she up? taught me to refuse blanket judgment. It is my hope that all of us would teach our kids and not only to remember, just refuse hate. The Academy congratulates Anthony Hopkins and accepts the Oscar on his behalf. Thank you. We Congratulations, Anthony. To our wolf. Interesting. What was that about? <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Precisely. That was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. She 
she was shaking that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that was nice. Um, you know, it seemed quite laid back, but obviously that's just a short video. Um, but I do like the vibe it gave off. I sent I sent two more things. I'll quickly explain if you want to. Okay, Kevin. Um, I just DM me on Discord, and then just so you appear at the top of the list, and then I will call, and we'll we'll get you on. Simba said that now you should do a cooking vid with him. So I cook and he. Well, that was in the format he agreed to, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what he wants me to make. I don't have the kitchen for it though, you know what I mean? Well, maybe when lockdown's lifted fully, I can head over to his place so we can do something like that. That would be cool. Time to go can't cook. I can make some things, but I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm the most, you know. I'm like I don't have a, a full repertoire of what I can make, but I can make some things. Alright. We're gonna bring Kevin, film freak Kevin, movie extraordinaire on to uh, talk us through something he wants me to check out. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Kevin himself. We're gonna give him a call, let's go. Hello, Kevin, how are you doing? Wait, I can't hear you. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't hear you. Give me a second, let me make sure it's not on my end real quick. My audio is coming through, so, and I believe you can hear me because my little circle is going, but there is no circle when you speak, so I feel like there are some slight adjustments that need to be uh, made. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give you time, Kevin, we'll give you time to set, to set that up. It might just be like the input settings for the mic. Mitch is saying this edition. Wait, wait, Kevin. Wait, I yeah. feel like I heard you. Yes. We've got hey. Kevin here. What's up? Welcome. What's up, dude? Hey, man. Uh, so what you got for us, man? So actually, you know, you, you think from the things I sent you mm -hmm. that the Oscars were kind of peaceful, right? Y yeah, yeah. Well, there's actually a lot of backlash against the Oscars. Oh, because okay. So look, they, the, I, I thought the whole show was pretty good mm. until the last twenty minutes. So oh, okay, right. So the, they did some things. So they changed up the orders of some of the categories. So for example, in the they showed, uh, they gave screenplay, the both screenplay awards they gave first, and normally that's like in the second half of the show. Okay, and best and best director too. So, yeah. the last 20 minutes, it started with the In Memoriam section, funnily enough. So, during okay. the In Memoriam, they, it felt like they sped up some of the things. So, you know, the, the video started, uh, no, everyone's name was on there. And then, in like some segments of the video, it was like the, the video was at dub, double speed. So, they were like going, bam, name, 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 name. Oh, and, and there was also an odd choice of the in memoriam music because it was kind of like an upbeat poppy music. Oh, what song was it? Do you know? Oh, it was just no. like it just wasn't a good fit. Nah, it was it wasn't totally good fit. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna search. Did you send me a link to that, or should I find it? Uh, the Oscars nah, in I, I, memoriam. I so, but it's, it is a video you can easily find. It's okay. not. It's not. Okay, I we're, we're we're just gonna quickly take a look at this. So I'll I'll, I'll take a look at this right now, and we'll see. Um. Okay, yeah, this this whole stream is getting claimed, but so, it is. An Angela Bassett gives a speech, so you need to skip to that like quickly. All right, skip through that. Okay, so this is where the video starts. Shout out to yeah. Angela Bassett, though. All right, let, let, let's see how they handled this. And the earth knows she's revolving. Okay, I can already see what you mean. I wasn't expecting lyrics, honestly. I thought it was just gonna be, you know, an instrumental. 
Um, but okay. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna skip a little ahead and see if I notice them speeding through it. So yeah, it happens like with the like a little less important names. Oh, so right. So it's like they slow down and speed up certain ones, yeah, depending on how well people are to know who's being shown. Yeah. Oh, that's and, interesting. And, yeah. And again, the music is so upbeat too. It's not. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening to it now. This is very odd. But. You know what? What I will what I will say though, what I will say is, I guess there is that um, argument that you know when someone's died, you don't want to just be somber about it. There is that whole celebration of life. Mm. So in that sense, I, I I can get why they would probably want to go with a more upbeat song because it the Oscars is a celebration. But yeah, some of these names like Poopy Disco just said they are flying through some of these people. They are. If we if we just put it on mute and we just see. Like some people definitely get longer than others, for sure. Um, and uh, also, whoa, Quest that was so quick! Holy crap! Oh, <laughs> they're going quick as hell now. <laughs> they don't care. Whoa. Okay. All right. That's a bit rude, honestly. That's a little bit rude. Nah, that's a wow. Okay, I see <laughs> what you mean. I see what you mean. Damn. Okay. All right. Yeah. What What were you about to say? Uh, so, Quest Love. Rest in peace to all these people. The Oscars. They what the Oscars? Sorry, Quest Love. You know, from like the Roots, actually DJ the Oscars. Oh yeah, I saw him. He was he was there um, during the uh, was it the Kaluuya speech or the highlights? The highlights uh, video, yeah, in, yeah, and the highlights speech too. So because um, they didn't could uh, normally they do like uh, you know an opera like a chorus and everything, but yeah, obviously they couldn't go to this year. Yeah, so, and from there on everything went downhill. Because surprisingly, you know, when we're 93 Oscars in, right? And they've always done Best Picture last. Mm. Always. Yeah. They haven't this year. Oh. They sh they shoved Best Picture in front of Best Actress and Best Actor. And the reason for that was... The thing is, Chadwick Boseman was actually the favorite to win... So, like, the actual favorite. And even before the Oscars itself, in the pre-show, they asked some of the actors and actresses like Angela Bassett, Philo Davis, how it was to work with Chadwick Boseman. Mm. And so they shoved Best Actor to last. So everyone was like, oh, we're going to end on a high note of Chadwick Boseman winning. Oh, uh, okay. And, right. yeah, you know who won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Anthony Hopkins. And yeah, and the thing was, um, they ended the show abruptly too, because the producers knew they after they they knew because they wanted to capitalize on that like emotional impact. So that's why everyone is, a whole Twitter was aflame because of really? that choice. Because the thing is, you have to know the producers mm. actually don't know who's gonna who win. wins. Yeah, yeah, only only the accountants behind the scenes, like two of the three accountants know who's mm. going to win. So they took a gamble and it shot massively back in their face. Massively. They they really should have just kept it as it was. I mean, yeah. I, I can understand them wanting to have it end like this thing, but it, it would have still been fine had they just done it normally. And even if Chadwick Boseman won a posthumous award, it would have still been fine. So it, I do very much question that decision. But and you um, and you need to remember, Shatwick Bowman's wife was there too. You know, she oh she, like, right, she she really thought probably too she was gonna win, and uh, so you know it was like a huge shock, and everyone was also a bit mad because um, Viola Davis was like a dark horse, but. Everyone really thought Chadwick Boseman was going to win. So, you know, you got the whole, uh, oh, the two black leads didn't win too, which, you know, is a whole argument on itself because mm. it seems like the Oscars recently has become like uh, the winner uh, needs to win on like the merit of their skin color. It's also like, you know, the whole Oscar so white thing, it's a bit complicated too. So Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, right. No, that's, that's at... very interesting. Because in my opinion, yeah. in my opinion, Anthony Hopkins was the deserving winner for me. Honestly, it was he was. Benjamin Dorman again. You could argue for it to be Kerry Mulligan or Viola Davis, mm. but you know, yeah. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Anthony Hopkins was fantastic in his role. But yeah, phenomenal. all right. I, I appreciate the update. Like, I wasn't obviously I stayed off the internet, so I wasn't aware of any controversy whatsoever. But yeah, it does seem like it was mishandled. Just looking at this in memoriam video, I get that they want to include as many people as they can because 2020 was a devastating year, of course. But man, they they really sped through some of these people like less yeah. than half a second. It was actually disrespectful. So, and like from that on, and from that point on, like from that point on, everything went downhill. Everything. Damn. Wait, wait. Tell me about it in a moment. But I just want to say shout out to Queenie Star for the three months subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Um. And yeah, yeah. Go on. So what? When you said it went downhill from there, like what? What else happened? Well, yeah, because they set up such huge expectations of, like, ending on that huge emotional impact. And, like, you know, doing, setting up those expectations for, like, you know, millions of people to watch. And, again, like, you know, the, the um, debate of having, you know, millions of people of, like, uh, of black people, like, you know, who could be inspired by such a uh, thing. Yeah. To have that massive let down so yeah right, and actually right. and anthony hopkins wasn't there to uh receive the award oh. and normally and normally olivia coleman who was in london uh would have done the speech for him but mm. you know they they ended the show abruptly so it was like you know that oscars were admitting like oh shit <laughs> it was a total like um um cut off yeah, yeah, it was a cutoff. It was underwhelming. Um, okay, that's what it. That's what it sounds like. And yeah, it was anticlimactic. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, that, that, the exact reason. And so Anthony Hopkins actually wanted to do Zoom because he wanted to. He, he didn't want to travel down to London uh, for the you know the gathering. He's 83 years old. Yeah. Uh, even the uh, costume design winner was 89 years old. A uh, woman, oh, right. he, she didn't show up either. Right. So out of COVID fears, of course, and he wanted to do it to Zoom, but even then, uh, the Oscars have like no Zoom policy. Oh. So he actually woke up this morning. I have actually sent you the video. Uh, he, he did like a really, really classy thirty-second video of uh, you know, thanking the Academy and even giving a slight mention to Chadwick Boseman too. Oh right! Wait, you said you sent this video through? Yeah, I sent it under the uh, the picture I sent you, the last picture. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, let me see this. It's like a really classy video. Okay, we're we're gonna check this out then. We'll check this out. It should be pretty good. Um, but yeah, wow. Okay, let's let's watch let's watch this video. I'm gonna pull it up now and make sure I'm not showing any personal details. And um, let's see what Anthony Hopkins had to say for his role in The Father. Well, good morning. Well, here I am in my homeland in Wales. And at 83 years of age, I did not expect to get this award. I really didn't. And um, very grateful to the Academy and thank you. And I want to pay tribute to Chadwick Boseman, who's taken from us far too early and again thank you all very much <laughs> I really did not expect this so I feel very privileged and honored thank you you know what? very nice very nice video from oh I didn't show you guys the video okay sorry I wasn't showing the screen oh my god you heard it though you heard it well let me play it again so you guys can see my goodness Good morning. Well, here I am in my homeland in Wales, and at 83 years of age, I did not expect to get this award. I really didn't. And I'm um, very grateful to the Academy and thank you. And I want to pay tribute to Chadwick Boseman, who's taken from us far too early. 
And again, thank you all very much. <laughs> I really did not expect this. So I feel very privileged and honored. Thank you. And that was Anthony Hopkins. You know what? You were right. Very classy. You've got the um, countryside in his background. And he kept it short and sweet. No, nah, that was very nice. That was very and cool. So, and now the question is, what are they going to do moving forward, of course? Because I've actually tweeted straight after that. So I tweeted, like, what is the chance the Academy Awards will pro highly likely? Because, you know, they have to kind of give it forcefully, I think. Uh, give the li a Lifetime Achievement Award Oscar next year to Chadwick Boseman to acknowledge this sort of, you know, like, screw up. All right. You know what? That's I wouldn't be surprised by that. I didn't consider that before. Um, but if they did that, I don't think I'd be surprised. I guess it depends on, you know, how much backlash they get, honestly. Um, uh, they you know what? Um, there's actually there had been a letterbox made for uh, the 93rd Oscars Academy Awards. Oh, and has it been rated very poorly? Uh, I, I... Understatement, perhaps even. Oh God! Like it's it's got one point five stars. One point so five. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You know, it's, pe people are like, because you no, know, it's a gamble they took and it blew up in their face. So. Okay then. Yeah. And you have to know, like, changing uh, the best picture forward. It. it for the first time in 92 years, it's also like a massive shame. Yeah, that is very odd. It is very odd that they did that um, with no explanation as well. So yeah. Did they also, uh, I was curious, did they get rid of one of the sound categories? Uh, yeah, they actually combined the sound categories together. Ah, okay. I was wondering. Okay. I guess it's because they usually win. Like if someone wins sound mixing, they win sound editing. So I get well, that, but I actually didn't happen last year. Oh really? Yeah. What 19, happened last year? Nineteen seventeen took, like, uh, I think nineteen seventeen took sound. No. No, 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 no. I think uh, nineteen seventeen took sound mixing, and Ford versus Ferrari took sound uh, editing. editing. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So it can be separated, but I think just most Oscar voters don't educate themselves on what's the difference. So yeah. it's just so the same. That's fair. That's fair. And uh, just quickly, other highlights of the Oscars. I, I thought the show was very well done, you know, considering the whole no Zoom thing and everything. Yeah. Uh, another round director gave uh, the speech who uh, honored his uh, late daughter who passed away in a car accident four days into shooting another round. Oh. Too. So if you oh, know man. that context behind the movie, it's really, it's also probably the reason why he was nominated for it. So for right. director too. So um, again, yes, yeah, Sound of Metal winning. And you know, uh, it's actually the least, uh, it's the first year where like no movie has won like more than four. So you have like Nomadland oh. won three Oscars. And then you have like Marini, Soul, uh, Mank, um, we're missing Sound of Metal. Uh, you know, like those movies all won two Oscars. Right. Like three, okay. two, two, two. So there wasn't a movie that just like sweeped house basically no. this year. Interesting. No. Okay, then. Right. I, that was all I had to say. So, you know. Yeah. Right. Well, damn, Kevin. Thank you for tuning in. Like, and providing that insight. That was very cool. <laughs> um, love having you on, man. And people in the chat, very happy to hear from you as well. Um, yeah. Uh, what what's up to the people, Trey? Because oh, yeah. I, I saw the mic. <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> Yo, people getting shout outs. Let's go. Let's go. Stranica, everything. There we go. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the people. But no, nah, that was nice. Thanks a lot, man. We'll definitely bring you on um another time. You're also on doing the Among Us stream, actually. So that's fair. So people were really you sound Again, like. shout out to you for watching Heat. Like that's oh, one of yeah. my favorite movies. Again, like Hell yeah, man. No, it was, a, it was a good movie. I had a good time. Uh, Kevin is from Belgium, Poopy Disco. Yeah, someone just asked where you were from. You, you don't hear that from my accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Yo, thanks thanks for this, man. Um, yeah. 
thanks for letting me on too no worries bro no worries honor to have you on my guy all right peace out bro yeah you too okay yo that was kevin the movie correspondent of the stream yo how many streamers have their own movie correspondent i'll wait i'll wait for you to answer no but shout out to kevin aka film free kevin awesome to have have him on talking about the oscars but yeah you know what people honestly never gonna rewatch the vod to hear my own voice kevin people loved your voice <laughs> Um, yo, I just want to say shout out to uh, that bloke who says Wog1 and shout out to Otis Smith. What's up? Yes, I am a YouTuber, but we out here streaming on Twitch too. Um, and yeah, we do have many nationalities here. Uh, I wasn't expecting this. Actually, no, I kind of was expecting this discussion to span the whole stream. Um, so yeah, no, no gaming today, no Ratchet and Clank, but I had a very fun time. Hope you guys did too. Um, there was just so much to discuss. So thanks for tuning in and discussing with me, people. Uh, you know what? I think we're I think we're gonna wrap it up there. How's that sound? We've been live for over two hours. Um, I will give you the headset here again. I do want to apologize for starting the stream late. I I I I, I napped. So that's all on me. That's on me. But thank you for your patience and tuning in, regardless. Um, now it's time to finish the space challenge tomorrow, poopy disco tomorrow. Um, you want that headset hair? I think the lesson is we need to thank our parents for banging each other. Very true. Very true. All right. Let me give you that headset hair real quick. I think the Minecraft music is fitting if I'm going to get a block shape in this hair. What's it like? Ah. Oh. Mm, that's a three. That's a three. That's a three. Yeah. A four? You give it a four? Maybe. Yeah, maybe a four. Maybe a four. I guess I was a little bit harsher. But yeah, not not that bad today. You're right. You're right. I really liked this chill Monday stream. Maybe regular news Mondays every week. Critical strike. That would be a good idea. Um, but sometimes there isn't actually all that much to talk about. You know what I mean? So that's why I do like still having a game for when, you know, that's up. But um, yeah, I'm always up for talking about whatever's going on during the week. So I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream, people. Thank you for tuning in. Well, hello there, Mr. Egg. How are you today? Yo, Carpal, Dolphin. I'm very good. But we are about to wrap up the stream. But I'm very good. Thank you. Hope you are too. There isn't much talk about British royals having drama each week. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. But still, I mean, bruh, the royal family just doing their thing, innit? And yeah, if Simba's live, we'll be raiding Simba. YouTube Monday then, where we just watch YouTube videos. Yo, I'm gonna let you guys know how many claims. Let predictions. How many claims is this video going to get? Predictions. I'm predicting it's gonna get claimed for Daniel Kaluuya's speech, the highlights video. Um, what else did we watch? One of the Reddit videos are gonna get claimed that we watch for Reddit. Um, and what else was there? Three. I'm guessing three claims this week. Claim to 900,000. Okay. <laughs> what channel is Simba's cooking video on? Yo, Poopy Disco. It's on his um, personal channel, Simba Munemo, but I will post a link. You're going to get claimed for my voice. All right, come on, Kevin. <laughs> All right, let me um, let me pull up the video and I'll post a link to it in the chat so you can check out um, that interview. Um... So his channel is Simba Munemo, just his name. And I will be posting this link here now. Bear with me one moment. Here you go. Also, bro, how did I forget? New episode of the Unverified Podcast is live on YouTube right now. So you can go check that out. I will also put, wait, what? Oh, it said no views for me. I was like, hold, hold on a second. That's a bit weird. We just posted it. What's going on? No, oh, not we just posted it. We posted it like a few hours ago. Um, but yeah, if you want to go check out the new episode of the Unverified Podcast, that's there. But Simba is live right now. So we are going to be raiding him at the end of the stream. Until tomorrow, people, you'll be able to find me right here. Twitch.tv slash Tamago 2474 at 8 p.m. And it will be 8 p.m. All right. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, people. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, everybody. Peace out.